This video is about the egg view of the human body. The egg view of the human body is one of the theoretical models of the human body created for happy theory. Happy theory is a collection of ideas that provide insight into the human body and the culture of human beings. The purpose of the various theoretical models of the human body is to replace the complex human body with something simple that can be used to more easily explain some aspect of the construction or behavior of the human body. According to the egg view of the human body, it is useful to treat the complex human body as a simple large egg located as shown in this picture. The egg is then made transparent so its relationship to the human body can be seen. The egg is centered on the body and it is large enough to cover the torso from the top of the head to the bottom of the buttocks, from one side of the body to the other, and from the front of the body to the back of the body. This configuration of the egg view of the human body, with the egg covering the torso from the top of the head to the bottom of the buttocks, is useful in presenting a particular set of ideas about the construction and behavior of the human body. The egg view of the human body can also be represented as shown in this picture. The egg has been enlarged to cover the body from the top of the head to the bottom of the feet. The larger egg is large enough to cover the body from side to side and from front to back. This configuration of the egg view of the human body can be more useful in presenting a different set of ideas about the construction and behavior of the human body. As might be guessed by examining the two different configurations of the egg view of the human body, the short egg configuration with the torso sized egg is slightly more useful in explaining ideas focused on the torso and the head. The larger egg configuration of the egg view of the human body, with the larger egg covering the body from head to foot, can be slightly more useful in explaining ideas focused on the entire body or ideas involving the legs. The justification for treating the human body as a large egg comes from one of the basic principles of happy theory. According to happy theory, the human body retains characteristics of all of the things that it has ever been. A human body initially begins life as a female egg fertilized by a male sperm, so a mature human body should exhibit some of the characteristics of a sperm, and more pertinent to this video, some of the characteristics of an egg. The egg view of the human body can be used to present many different insights into the construction and behavior of the human body. This first video in the series on the egg view of the human body will focus on one way that the physical characteristics of the egg from which a human being originally begins life influences the construction and behavior of the mature human body. According to happy theory, the physical characteristics of the egg that a mature human body originally begins life as influence the construction and behavior of the mature human body. A physical characteristic of an egg would be something like the shape of the egg. Here is a picture of the egg. An egg has an elliptical shape, so according to the principle that the human body retains characteristics of everything it has ever been, the mature human body should show some sign of the influence of an elliptical shape in its construction and behavior. Examination of an anatomy book will reveal many areas of the human body that show the influence of the shape of an ellipse. The eyes, the male testicles, and the female ovaries are all examples of elliptically shaped objects found within the human body. This video is going to discuss a way that the shape of an ellipse influences the construction and behavior of the human body that cannot be found by looking in an anatomy book or by visual inspection of the human body. The demonstration of this particular way in which the shape of an ellipse influences the construction and behavior of the human body requires the construction of a human body out of an egg. A human body has two arms, two legs, and a head extending out from the torso. This picture shows the human body and the egg. The egg will represent the torso of the human body. If the egg is the torso equivalent of the human body, then the egg needs two arm equivalents, two leg equivalents, and a head equivalent 
before it would look like a human body. How could an arm, a leg, or a head be created from the egg? There are a variety of ways to create a human body shape from an egg. To make the point of this video, a human body shape will be created from an egg by cutting the egg, then manipulating the cut parts of the egg. The first two cuts are made in the upper part of the egg. The lower part of each cut section is then rotated out away from the egg. These rotated cut sections of the egg represent the arms of the human body. The same cutting process is then performed on the lower part of the egg. The lower part of these cut sections are also rotated out away from the egg. These rotated cut sections of the egg will represent the legs of the human body. The upper part of the egg needs to be cut one more time and the two cut pieces then raised upwards to create an object that will represent the head of the human body. How does this human body shape created out of an egg help demonstrate the influence of the shape of an ellipse on the construction and behavior of the human body. This picture shows the profile view of the human body shape created from the egg. The arm, the leg, and the head all have an elliptical shape because they were cut from the elliptically shaped egg. According to the egg view of the human body, this picture is saying that the arms, the legs, and the head should behave as if they are constructed like an ellipse. According to Happy Theory, the arms, the legs, the torso, and the head of the human body really can behave as if they are constructed like an ellipse. A human being whose body behaves as if it is constructed from elliptical shapes will be different from a human being whose body does not behave as if it is constructed from elliptical shapes. The differences are both mental and physical. A human body in which the elliptical nature of the head has been developed will think differently and have a personality that is different from a human body in which the elliptical nature of the head has not been developed. Development of the elliptical nature of the human body will change the physical appearance of that body in certain predictable ways. The knowledge that the human body can behave as if it is constructed from elliptical shapes implies that a different approach, taking into account the elliptical nature of the human body, would be available for the diagnosis and treatment of health problems of the human body. According to Happy Theory, various health problems of the human body that conventional medicine has trouble understanding, diagnosing, and treating can be understood, diagnosed, and treated by envisioning the human body as being constructed of elliptical shapes. A human body that was constructed from elliptical shapes would move in a different way than a human body constructed as shown in an anatomy book. The various parts of the human body would move differently and the movement of the entire body as a whole would be different. According to Happy Theory, some styles of Asian Kung Fu as well as various other physical movement systems from around the world are based on the elliptical nature of the human body. The movements of all of these systems are designed to bring out and strengthen the elliptical nature of the human body. The knowledge that various areas of the human body can behave as if they are constructed from elliptical shapes is used by Happy Theory to provide insight into Asian Kung Fu, to provide insight into various beliefs and practices from human cultures all over the world, and to provide insight into the specific changes to the human body that can be caused by masturbation, excessive sex, excessive exercise, snorting of drugs, injection of drugs, and anorexia.